Hey everybody, welcome to another Road to Beta. We're calling this the energy episode, I guess, or energy part one, something like that. So essentially we're going to take the energy precon we currently have, even though we know it's probably set to change, and we're going to go ahead and use this gold we've got and pick up some scrolls to modify it. But I wanted to show it to you first, um, just so that you could see it before I mess with it. Um, and then I'm also going to pull up this list. Again, this is the list of the rating system I've given to every scroll. Um, I'll post a link to this. Again, what we've got here is a rating of what, what I think these things are valued at. So we've got the name of the scroll, uh, the rating, and then the rarity, and then all the nonsense about it. But more or less, anything that's a 5, you're going to want to have 3 of in, in the deck. Um, anything that's a 4, and I explained this already, but I'll run through it. Anything that's a 4 probably is going to be included in the deck, but maybe not 3 of. The 3s would be fine to play, they're just not automatic, um, sort of dependent on what you're doing. Uh, the 2s, I would say, you, if you're playing them, you're going to have to have a specific reason for playing them, um, but I, I don't think that they they make it into the deck without you specifically having a reason for them. And then the ones, again, this is based on a mono energy build, so um, the memorial's obviously not going to be that great. And a reason I don't think makes it into a mono energy deck, or any mono energy deck. So anyway, back to scrolls. Looking at the deck, we do have a lot of, a lot of good stuff still. Some you know, one of one of those elders got the automatons. We got three gun automatons, which is going to be great. A couple burns, which are pretty much auto includes spark. I think with with the the prevalence of um, order, maybe spark. Spark is still good. I'm still I'm going uh, even even though everything seems to have three toughness. You still want spark because you're still going to run into kinfolk brave, and kinfolk brave is one of the hardest scrolls for you to deal with if it comes out early unless you get a spark or a, a burn so you, you want to maximize those. Burn's really great against order by the way um, because everything seems to have three health and order and then you can get that extra draw spell. So let's hop over to the store let's spend some gold and then we'll, we'll figure out ah the big guy. Figure out what we're going to do with that gold we spend. Part of me is actually tempted to buy that elder um, for a thousand gold, um, to, that this is this is probably a linchpin in multiple strategies, um, and it, it might might just be good to to grab that. So let's let's go ahead and make some purchases, and then if we get down to a thousand gold and we're still still not happy with what we've got, we might pick up that elder. So because we're because we're focusing on energy, like I said in the last video, we're just going to buy energy scrolls. It's going to cost us a little bit more. But, we're, but we know that every scroll we buy has a higher chance of being relevant to us. So let's just start going. So a catapult of goo. I think we already have three of those. It's so not so great. A spark. That'll be good. Get a third spark. Useless contraption. We already have three of. That's probably getting sold back. Another scatter gunner. That'll be good. A bombard. That actually is great because that push. That helps us dictate whether or not we're going to go grave lock or whether we're going to go um, ranged and bombard helps us with that vote a tick bomb a third tick bomb is not bad to have I will buy two more really quick grave lock outcast okay so that helps if we want to go grave lock and then finally destroyer so that that's actually good good to know all right let's do a little bit of selling really quick because you can see one of the nice things about this store and ignore all this stuff. And now you can tell also the store, sorry, tangent, the store is sorted by cost and then by alphabet, uh, alphabetical, that's alphabetized, well, sorry. So all the ones, one cost things are at the top and then we go down to the twos and the twos start again back at A. So you kind of have to know a little bit about the cards other, or that the scrolls other than just what their names are. Useless contraption we're selling though. You can see we already have three of those. 
Spark we're holding on to, Bombard we'll hold on to, Catapult will we sell because we already have three of, Outcast we're good with, Scatter Gunner's good, Destroyer is good, and then we'll sell those off. All right. So that gets us 60 gold, but it's not great. Um, oh, let's go ahead and keep buying because I, I didn't realize. I, I thought I was wanting to only spend 1,000 gold, but I was wanting to spend up to 1,000 gold. So we're going to buy some more here. <laughs> Another catapult to do. A clock library, that would be interesting. Up a, uh, charge coil. Oh, awesome. I've not gotten to play with charge coil yet. So I I think I've seen him play Grump Cat and Acid Jib. Had a really cool video where Acid Jib crushed a bunch of bunnies and stuff. Or crushed, crushed a bunch of rats with charge coil. It was bad. But it was neat. One other rare. Cool. A mortar. I think that, that helps us make our decision a little bit. A third destroyer. So I think we're yeah definitely into the ranged thing. A metal heart. Eh. Could, could make it, perhaps, but... Uh, a third Copper Automaton, or Copper Automaton, I think that actually might be our fourth Copper Automaton. Uh, no, maybe not. Okay, so now we're at a thousand. We're gonna do some more selling. Maybe we can get... Let's see, if we can get ourselves up to... Are you sure it's not four there? Okay, definitely not four there. But yeah, hopefully we can get ourselves back up to... Uh... 150 more gold with the hard catapult to goo. Yeah, probably not. So we'll sell that catapult to goo. Hold on to the charge coil. Keep the grave lock out, caps. Hull spitter mortar will hold on to. Scatter gunner, tick bomb. Clock library, double destroyer. Yeah, we'll just sell that one catapult just to keep things clean. It doesn't get us enough to. Uh, buy another or buy another round of energy scrolls. Um, I think I am going to buy this Elder, just because it's good in both the range deck and the outcat or the Gravelock deck. So we'll go ahead and purchase this. this. Um, we'll use gold. Huzzah! Okay. Maybe not the best idea since we're um, we probably could have gotten some other stuff with that, but specifically that Elder is has a lot of value in our deck. So let's hop over to the deck builder. Let's get some of this out. So we've got 13 new scrolls. We're gonna load load the pre-constructed deck just to start with. I'll take this a moment. Okay. So this is what we have to play with. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna dump in. Um, Actually, we'll hold off on those. Well, they'll make it, but we're going to dump in that Gravelock Elder for certain. We're going to put in this camp, Copper Automaton. I think Charge Coil is going to make it. I think we have that high up on the R list. That Mortar seems good. Scatter Gunner, I think he's going to make the cut. Got that third spark. Um, it definitely two destroyers. Let's see. I think a bombard actually, since we we've just bumped our uh, ranged unit count up, and we already have some ranged units. So bombard, and probably the outcast, the clock library. We don't have a really good way to manipulate that yet, but I could definitely see it making the cut eventually. But we've got ten scrolls to take out. I think if we went and checked the list, I'm pretty sure use, Useless Contraption wouldn't make the cut. I'm thinking Golem Skin would probably not be there. A Desperation, I think we could let go of. Or no, we'll, we'll take out this Incendiaries. We could pull Rigged out. Where does that put us? But there's something else. Um, oh, these two machine priests. Yeah. I think... I think they don't make the cut for me. Because we've got ten structures, but I just don't... 
I just don't think that they do enough. Um, so we've managed to bump our creature count up by two, which is nice. Um, and we've uh, done that by removing, even by removing two creatures. So um, not only do we have more creatures, but we have more better creatures. Um, Desperation, I think, still makes it in. Uh, actually, if I was being honest with myself, I think I'd rather have a clock library than a desperation. And then I think, let me consult the list. I see if I would do blast strike over any of this other stuff. I can't remember where I put blast strike on the list. I'm pretty sure I put it as a two. Yeah. So I put, yeah, but I think specifically I want to make my creatures better. So I think Black, Black Strike might stay in over some of this other stuff like Tick Bomb. Tick Bomb I think I rate as a three because, yeah, I, I think, actually maybe that would make more sense. Let's go ahead. Give ourselves three tick bombs. Take out a blast strike. I actually think I like that better. Who would have thought I was to my own advice? But yeah, that's, so that seems like a better list than what we were looking at before. Um, yeah, I think I like that. So we're going to go ahead and save this deck called Mono Energy. 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 Is that right? Is that right? Yeah. And then we'll hop in the arena. We'll, we'll battle the AI really quick. See who else in there. Jeez, there's a lot of people in here. Look at all. Aha. This is. I'm actually doing this during the owl stream. I'm sorry, owl streamers. Uh, I kind of feel bad. But you, you guys are drafting. Looks like like it's a lot of fun. I'm I'm watching. I'm st I'm still here. Here, I'll actually, I'll comment, and this will be a, uh, anyone who saw the draft stream, or is in the owl stream, I just click, hit comment, so, anyway, let's hop in, let's, uh, let's face that medium AI, see what he's doing, see how this deck works. Okay. Ba bump ba bump down bump ba da. I think we're gonna pitch the goo since we have the mortar and we've got a lot of threes actually. Oh, me and my misclicks. Probably shouldn't try and watch the owl stream and uh, play. Let's see. So we're playing against energy. I think we pitch the Ember Bonds. I don't know if that was a good idea or not. Yikes. Alright. This is where we slide over. I think we let the Here we go here. Let me put down a scatter gunner. Man, we're we're just getting wrecked by these automatons. Okay. I think we push back over. We're gonna let we're gonna have to let something die because we obviously just saw that the automatons are not afraid to attack our move to attack. The AI is at least smart enough to do that. Okay. So we're gonna hop in the center. We're gonna pitch for two here. We'll hold off on the no, we'll put the plating on, just to 
make sure he doesn't die to something silly really quick. He doesn't have a lot of health. It it's good to keep him alive. Uh, we're gonna pitch the magma pack. Hope we get something better. We'll hop over. Now we're gonna obviously want to put out that automaton. Nice. Oh, okay. Again, we pop over. The bard is probably not great in this matchup, um, at least right now, but I think we like it better than Fury. No? I don't know. Decision is decision. No, I think I like Fury better than the bard right now. So that'll get us to five. There we go. Ooh, nice. Okay. So we pitch the Infernal Blast because we're super aggressive here. We put down this automaton. Don't really know why I did that there. That actually feels bad. Um, other than we're trying to play around Thunder Surge, perhaps. Um, but probably we. Need to be more need to be more worried about Infernal Blast. I think I'm gonna leave it alone though, just because I kind of want to focus on this side. It's hard, uh, especially with the movement restrictions that that catapult imposes. Uh, catapult to goo we pitch. Nice. This is actually. I'm just gonna fury here, but it's probably better just to let it go. Oh, that was a terrible position for that clock library is in a bad position. We should have put it up in that corner. And we should have done that because the way that catapult goo is situated. But uh, we'll be all right, I think. Yeah, and we spent we spent wrong too. We should have. Oh well, just gonna let it go. Should have put the mortar down and then put the uh, scatter gun. Down. Kind of forced our hand here. Oh, tick bomb. Okay. Um, in that case, I think we go tick bomb mortar. Yeah, tick bomb mortar or tick bomb gunner, and then we pitch the mortar. Yeah, so then it's tick bomb push, and then we go gunner here. Seems fine. Uh, yeah. Okay. Ah, yikes. Eesh. Okay. Now we're in a different position. Um, I think we go by. And then I think it's Tick Bomb Fury. Seems alright. Actually, Fury doesn't seem alright. I don't think we're getting Thunder Surge just because we're playing against the medium AI, so I'm gonna hold off on the Fury actually. Just buy another turn. This is why you don't hold off on the Fury. That's why you don't hold off on the Fury. Fish. Okay. Should have Fury. Oh well. It's 
Let's go ahead and let's see. Yeah, we actually don't fury this turn, I think. And I think we go. Because um, if we fury this turn, we give everybody on his team a chance to attack, I think. So we hold off on using that. We put down this elder, which means we're going to pitch this outcast. Ooh. We'll hold off on the automaton actually. Okay. Perfect. We're okay with that. We're not okay with that. Actually, we should be fine. Okay. So, oh wow. Um, we're gonna get up to seven here. We're gonna do it through letting this destroyer go. I'm gonna put down the tick bomb. And I'm loving this tick bomb, so anybody who thinks I'm crazy there. Uh, leave that guy alone. Cascade old fury. Destruction abound. Okay, so at this point we're in a pretty good spot. How did we? Oh, we got Iron Whipped. Sorry. I was back to watching that, that, that stream. So we're at 7. I think we focus on the win in sight as opposed to long term shenanigans. So let's go ahead and. Leave the hell on. Yeah. Like we want to put down a scatter gunner. Like we want to put out this charge coil. And then I think we magma pack here. There we go. Probably a little ridiculous, but either pump, we're gonna let go. And we might as well put down this iron ogre in case something goes wrong. But at this point, I think we better off. Just like that. Put down this plating. Nice. Burn. Nice. We'll actually cast the burn first. I'll pitch the destroyer. Okay. Put down a spark. And e an automaton. We'll leave the team like that. T 
um, we're okay with. Yeah, and then we just see if we can get some extra hits in. Nope, oh, okay. Go there. So as you can see, it's a pretty consistent deck, I think. It's got good removal. It's got good creatures. Overall, definitely something I, would, I wouldn't I would be too afraid with attacking the uh, hard AI. So. Hope, hope you enjoyed that. Hope you uh, learned a bit from all the deck modifications and stuff. Again, this that list I posted, maybe that'll change, but I really did like that tick bomb, so I think versus that versus a blast strike, I think tick bomb does in fact win win that battle. Anyway, thanks for watching, as always. Until next time.